What's up guys, it's JMS80 and today I'm bringing you some Team Deathmatch on Jungle. And today it's it's not really so much about the game, well it is about the gameplay somewhat, but there's nothing too epic about it. This is about as mediocre as it gets for me. I get about 19-20 kills and I die about 4 times. It's a mediocre gameplay, that's an average gameplay for me. So yeah, but anyway, what I wanted to talk about is I know I asked uh, before how long do you guys think that Black Ops will last and honestly I don't think it's going to last too much longer and the reason why being I mean a lot of there are a lot of reasons why this game is not going to last you know the upper tier kill streaks being useless the uh, the pace of the game it's really slow the weapons uh, you know none of them are really memorable hardly any of them are useful you know sniper rifles are useless shotguns are useless uh, like I said before, the upper tier kill streaks are useless. You know, anything, everything, and anything can get shot down with ease. You know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to do it. And you know, Ghost being just the most overpowered perk in the game now because of the lack of stopping power, things of that matter. It's, it's just gotten to a point where it's not fun really to play this game anymore. And that's a bad thing. You should, you should have fun playing video games, but. I mean, I will, I can have fun on this game, but for the most part, it's just frustration. And if you really think about it, I mean, I never got this frustrated on Modern Warfare 2. Now, don't get me wrong, I did get frustrated by the noob tubing and one-man army, things like that. But those things, they weren't in every single match that I went into. They weren't. You didn't go into every single match, and there was like three or four people practically an entire team noob tubing with one man an army danger close commando lunging douchebags that wasn't in every single game all right that wasn't a fucking great epidemic like everybody made it out to be those are just fucking people hating on it because they wanted to find something to hate on the game for and that was it all right so it wasn't as bad as everybody made it out to be because really Modern Warfare 2 was a great game. It was a lot of fun. It was very fast paced. It, you know, it caught a lot of interest. All the guns were useful and memorable and fun to use. That's not the case here in Black Ops. And they just, Treyarch, I guess they were just, they were trying so hard not to be Modern Warfare 2 that they just made a worse game. And that's what they did. It really is, because a lot of people were praising Black Ops when it first came out because they were doing so many things differently, but they didn't take the time to actually pay attention to it. Now, I know when I said I started this channel, I would try to bring you the best gameplay possible. That is the truth, but also, I want to bring you some food for thought. I want you to think about this game. I want you to think about the games that you play. Not just to really so much as to play them and play, be playing them. Yes, video games are there for your amusement. They're, you know, they're there to have fun. But also, I want you to get the best experience out of your video game playing that you possibly can. I don't want you playing a bad video game or a video game that you're possibly, you know, going to end up just raging 24-7 at. Because that's no fun. And then you just end up wasting about 60 bucks in the process of it. So... Now, for Black Ops, it's it's really a coin toss for most people. But for me, if you just if you look at the statistics, if you look if you just think, use your brain for a moment, put down the hater aid for one moment. Stop hating on Modern Warfare 2, you know, other games like that. Modern Warfare 2 was a great game. COD 4, best Call of Duty of all time. War at War, it was a fun game. Yes, there was like the MP40s, Juggernaut fucking noob tubing danger close pro commando douchebags of all of all time in those games but did they plague and infest every single lobby no not really well maybe in world of war yes the mp40 you know it was it was almost in every lobby but still that's just a weapon though that could be countered if you're better if you are naturally better than another player you can overcome that because guess what? A bad scrub player with an MP40 isn't going to be able to take you out. Will he annoy you? Yeah, he'll annoy you, but is he better than you? No. Now, in Modern Warfare 2, the noob tubing, danger close commandoing, did you find that in every single lobby? No. Every once in a while, did you come across them? Yes, you did. Was it just so devastating that you couldn't overcome it and it was that overbearing? No, it wasn't. And if it was, then you're just bitching and you're looking for a reason to bitch. So you know what? Shut up. 
and just enjoy it for what it is. Now with Black Ops, it's different. Taking out stopping power, mistake. It, it pretty much got rid of the only, the only counter to Ghost, so it made Ghost the end-all, be-all perk in this game. Everybody and their mother is using it right now, and it's very annoying. Now the thing is, Ghost is a game changer. Because honestly, if you can't see them on the radar, that will affect it. I mean, honestly, if you were up against an entire team of ghost users with dual mags and silencers, you will lose just on the sheer factor of stealthiness, unless that other team is just so fucking bad, they're, re they're just, they can't play the game. That's the only way it's possible. But if they are decent enough players, you know, average players even, they will win that game because there is no counter to it and now everybody is using it and it's just annoying as hell not only that but the upper tier uh, tier kill streaks are completely useless i mean a chopper gunner and a gunship can be shot down with ease and with the whole ghost thing if you're running into an entire team of ghost what are you going to shoot at nothing like this match right here for an example that uh, the opposing team is a full man team and only two of them are not using Ghost. Maybe three, I'm not sure, but two of them at least are not using Ghost. Everybody else is using it. And when I get my chopper gunner right here, you're going to see why this comes into play. Why this gameplay right here could have been great. Because I got my upper tier kill streak, got the chopper gunner. But alas, when I open the door, only one or two words, uh, red squares are popping up for me to shoot at. And that's it. That has rendered my upper tier kill streak completely useless. The only thing that should render an upper tier kill streak useless is shooting it down. Even that's too easy to do in this game. And also with the fact that the kill streak's not stacking, it has slowed the pace of the game as well. So now this is a slower, more annoying version of previous Call of Duties. You know, weapons not being useful or memorable, snipers are useless, shotguns are useless. Ghost is the end all be all perk. Upper tier, tier kill streaks are useless. They don't stack, so it slows down the pace of the game. Overall, this Call of Duty was a fail. Will I still play it? Yes, I will. Why? Because the ignorant masses want to see it. So please, think about this. This has been JMS80. Have a good day. Peace.